What's up guys, Dan here with Next Level Riding Clinics. Welcome back to the channel. This week, you guys, we're talking about another one of my favorite passions, and that's building trucks. This week, let's talk about the Next Level Sled Hauler. All right, so the truck, you guys, this is a 2016 Ford F450. I wanted the, I wanted the F450, and what the reason why it got me out of the Chevy chassis is, you know, I, I needed that that bigger weight capacity, more for, more for my summer business for for Blacktop Pros, hauling big, heavy seal coat equipment around. But having the 450, having the the 203 inch wheelbase, the long, long wheelbase, so I could put a 11 foot four flatbed on it. That was crucial as well. Uh, it's funny to me that a, an eight foot flatbed is still sort of a short bed to me. But um, so the truck started its life as just a cab chassis. I bought the truck in Florida, had it brought out to Alpine and it was pretty skin and bones. It was a black pickup and then we took it from there. And so custom stuff right away that we did to the truck, we, Swapped out the wheels and tires, put brand new tires on it. Uh, got some Alcoa wheels, had them powder coated black. We're gonna talk about the powder coating throughout this and we're gonna go back to Ace Powder Coating out of Idaho Falls. These guys have done an unbelievable job over the years with a lot of sled builds and a lot of my other diesel truck builds. Unbelievable powder coating company and highly recommend it. But anyway, we powder coated the, the wheels, got aluminum wheels, uh, at least on the outers put brand new tires on it. The suspension, I went with the Fox 2.5 reservoir shocks up front uh, with the adjustments. And then they had to custom make because I wanted to keep the truck low. I've had a lot of people say, man, I can't believe you haven't lifted that truck. Keep in mind with what I do, uh, seal coating especially, having the low truck where I can be on and off the flatbed all the time, it, it makes a lot of sense for me. As much as I do love and have built a lot of lifted pickups in the past, it really helps us uh, for efficiency uh, to have the truck sitting at sort of a stock height. So Fox had to custom make a set of shocks for the rear end of this thing uh, and coupled with, uh, I've got the, the ride right uh, wireless airbag system on this, which we'll show here in a second when we go into the inside. Um, but suspension, tires and wheels, uh, the flatbed guys. So everybody asks me about this flatbed. So the bed came as just a CM bed, uh, didn't have boxes, wasn't skirted. And my guy that works for me, Jason Blair, you guys have seen him in other YouTube channel videos. He built the rest of it. So as we walk around, there are things that you can tell are your standard CM. These aren't on the CM bed, this whole custom uh, flare down like this to step down. The bedsides, the rails themselves, guys, these things are, I mean, this two by four, uh, this is some solid material here. Um, he built all of this. You can see sort of the stitch line there, uh, brought this down. We've got lights underneath this so that I've got an awesome spot to get to here, to get up into the bed. Um, that's really helpful. While we're right here, we can talk about the DZ running boards. I've got running boards on all my trucks and uh, have used DZ products and these, these work really well. I like, the, I like the contrast between the matte and the gloss all throughout the pickup truck. Uh, while we're still talking about DZ, so you can see the boxes here, guys. I wanted uh, aluminum boxes in a metal bed because the boxes on almost all of these flatbeds are what start to rust and corrode and start to fall apart and then they eventually leak. Well, when I'm gonna carry things inside, like having gear bags, uh, have uh, miscellaneous tools, all things that truck guys have, your tow straps, your battery cables, uh, all of those things. It's nice having those things in an aluminum box. So how Jason built this is it's modular. With four bolts, this entire box could actually come out of the flatbed if we wanted to repowder coat, if something got a dent in it and we wanted to replace it. It's not, uh, it's not connected to the flatbed itself. So moving towards the back of the flatbed, I really liked the wheel profile and I left a lot of this design up to Jason. And you can tell the back of this guy's, you know, he was really influenced by like the back end of a Lamborghini uh, and just knowing sort of my sickness with all things supercars, this just went, it just played right into what I was after. So this abrupt angle and how all this came together, once again, just taking a, a standard CM bed and making it into something completely one-off, completely unique was really cool. We utilized the way the CM bed came down and went into its receiver hitch. 
off the bottom side of this, we had some four inch slots where Jason cleverly made these steps that would just sleeve in there. So these are just drilled and tapped and bolted in there to where this step can actually come out if you weren't using it. But it made a really cool element to the back of the truck and obviously made it really handy for being able to step up into the bed. All right, so while we're at the back of the truck, guys, and keep in mind, I, I build these trucks I mean, it is about style for me. I obviously like the way they look, but at the end of the day, it has to be about function. And the back of the truck, I've got my backup camera. Um, I'm backing into all kinds of different trailers throughout my summer, whether it's a seal coat trailer, a crack fill trailer, another type of snowmobile trailer, a flatbed trailer, or equipment haul, something like that. So having the backup camera is great. And then another awesome, awesome addition to the truck is this Rhino Hitch. The Rhino Hitch, guys, um, it's super stable. Um, I, I really trust its design. It's so simple to just adjust from one trailer to the next. And with so many different types of trailers that I have, it's really handy to be able to use that along with my air system to back into these trailers quickly. So moving around the truck, you guys, one of a, another awesome feature is the DZ fuel cell. I have DZ fuel cells in all of my pickups. This one is just a 40 gallon fuel cell. I've got an 84 gallon in another truck. I've got a 108 gallon in another truck and really handy to be able to fill up your equipment uh, with these GPI pumps. These things fill just as fast as the, the pumps at the fuel station. So pretty amazing. Um, on, again, boxes on this side for all sorts of tools. We were talking about tools and all the necessities all your diesel additives, just things like that when you know you're gonna be, uh, well, traveling long distances and just always want everything you're gonna need. Uh, the flatbed, you guys, the 11 foot four flatbed, I mean, obviously so awesome to be able to just be this versatile. I can throw sleds up here. These are 155s. They just fit right inside the bed. So the big 11 foot bed is really, really nice. But hauling goosenecks and then all of my seal coat equipment, uh, as you guys will see from parts of this, you know, being able to put a crane on here, there's holes all over the bed and every one of those holes has a specific, uh, whether it's a tie down or some piece of equipment that is strapped to the bed all summer long. So the flatbed to me, very versatile. All right, so moving on to the interior of the truck, you guys, because the Ford is just an XL, which is what I wanted, um, vinyl floors, it had vinyl seats. We put some black neoprene seat covers on there. We have seal coat all over us in the summertime and the vinyl and the neoprene just made a ton of sense. And then obviously trying to keep as many things black as you can, um, it's gonna get black anyway. So um, really like the interior of the pickup, nothing super fancy, but we have added some things. Um, we were talking about the airlift system. So this is a pretty sweet setup and you'll be able to hear the truck, um, whether I need air or I've got to take it away, depending on the haul or the load that I've got or the trailer that I'm towing. And that thing has just been absolutely awesome. Put a little magnet mount there. That's where that sits. Inside the cab, uh, it's pretty simple, but we did do some power upgrades to the vehicle. It includes an S&B intake. We did a four inch uh, MBRP exhaust with a really cool PowerTech diesel exhaust tip. And then we've got power upgrades from EasyLink. And this is just an Android monitor that keeps in all of my parameters in check. Uh, just like we'd have before on the pillar, we'd have gauges. It's all digital now, so it just keeps control of the pickup. And uh, there's definitely some times when I've really pushed this 450 to its limits. All right, so any big, big truck has to have a big, bad bumper. Uh, this is a bumper, you guys, that was designed uh, in part with DZ and Kelderman. Uh, Kelderman Air Ride Suspension. Those guys have been a, a huge supporter of Next Level. Uh, I got this as a gift from Kelderman this last year with the Next Level logo embedded into it, and it's been absolutely awesome. Uh, I got some strobes from Safety Lighting for the summertime business. I always think it's fun, and uh, well, I don't get to pull people over with that, but it's pretty awesome. But all in all, you guys, the front end of the truck, it certainly makes a statement going down the road, and that's what we're all about. Building trucks has always been a passion of mine. You guys are gonna see from the video, we've built a lot of them over the years. And Vader behind me is by far one of the most purpose-built but most badass looking trucks that we have built. We wanna hear from you guys. I wanna hear about your sled haulers out there. So be sure to leave those in the comments below. You guys, again, support the channel by smashing that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.